We talk with local experts about the wild, wild west of healthcare in the high country. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News. First, a reminder that one lane of Highway 6 in Silverthorne is closed for the next week for water main repair work. The water pipe burst Wednesday afternoon, and crews will be working there until next Friday, November 24th. Be ready for one closed lane on northbound Highway 6, that's right outside of First Bank, near the I-70 eastbound ramp in Silverthorne. Healthcare is making headlines all across the nation, and the news can be frightening. But what exactly has changed in Summit County? Obamacare programs are the same as last year, and the Connect for Colorado Marketplace still exists. If you don't enroll by January 12th, you will be penalized. Subsidies and tax credits are also still available to cut costs, but monthly premiums for individuals will jump by 36% in Summit County. Small business owners can expect the same. With so much happening, Tamara Drankstfeet with Summit FERC says uncertainty has many locals on edge. Right now for Summit County residents, what we can expect is really more of the same. A lot of the changes that you're hearing about on the federal level just don't apply locally. In other more promising changes, insurance companies can no longer deny coverage for pre-existing conditions, and programs like Medicaid help low-income families and seasonal employees bridge the gap between jobs. The fundamental thing everybody has to remember is it's important not to make assumptions. There actually are things in place that can help a lot of our residents, certainly not everyone, you might qualify for Medicaid or your kids might qualify for CHP+. But if you still feel lost, there is hope. FERC is one of several summit organizations helping locals navigate health care, and it's working. I just helped a family of four whose income was around $75,000 annual enroll into a bronze plan for under 200 a month. That was Danielle McQueen. She leads the health care team at FERC and has helped dozens of families cut costs on health care. She also helps locals find the best insurance for them because one size does not fit all. It's not only important to make sure you have insurance, it's also important to make sure that you take the time to understand your insurance, understand which doctors you can go see. No matter where you get insurance, prices in Summit County are some of the highest in the nation. But Drangstveet says if more people in a community have insurance, expenses tend to drop for everyone. And never forget to use your most powerful tool for change, your voice. If you have an opportunity, contact a legislature or contact a U.S. Senator and really voice the struggle that you're facing because that's the only way that some of these changes that we need in this community are going to happen. If you have unanswered questions about health care or simply need help enrolling, stop by FERC for a free consultation. They'll take you through the steps of enrollment and even ID ways to save money. Learn more at summitferk.org or see the Crystal 93 YouTube page for our full 17-minute crash course on healthcare. That's Crystal with a K. All week long, we've been asking you a somewhat loaded question. Are gun laws in Colorado too strict, too loose, or just right? And you answered. On a Crystal 93 Facebook poll, listeners were split almost exactly in half. Some say laws are too strict. Others say they're just right, and still others believe they're too loose. But the majority of listeners say the answer isn't so simple. No one offered potential other solutions for gun control and safety in Colorado, and that simply highlights the need for a larger, more in-depth conversation about gun control. Tune in later this month when we sit down with local law enforcement to talk about gun rights in Summit County and how they're training each and every day to protect residents, visitors, and everyone in between. Then tune in next week for a new listener question and sound off on Facebook or by calling our listener hotline. That's your voice on Crystal 93. In sports, the Colorado Avalanche hosts the Washington Capitals tonight in Denver. Puck drop is 7 p.m. And on Thursday night football, the Pittsburgh Steelers play the Tennessee Titans. Kickoff is 625 on NBC. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News.